Skullsandmost.com, I'm Metal Mark, here with the one and only Max Cavalera. How are you, sir? Good, man. How you doing? Doing very well. Obviously, this is the first time I get to see Cavalier Conspiracy here in Atlanta. What can I expect from the upcoming show? Uh, it's going to be great, man. We're on our road. The tour is going great. Uh, we're having awesome shows every night. Yeah. Sadly, it's just killer. A lot of people like it. We play a lot of new stuff from the last record, yeah. combined with the first one, a bunch of Sepultura shit. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be all the all the bands are cool. Earth Crisis, Old Tap, yeah, real cool band, good shows. Uh, so the crowd's coming out happy, you know, it's great. Yeah, I've been looking at the set list, and Thrasher is my favorite song off the new record, and I've seen y'all play it live. Do you have a favorite song off the new record to play live? Uh, I'm enjoying uh, I Speak Hate. Yeah, we just started doing that on this tour, and it's really great because the crowd sings the chorus with yeah, me, yeah, yeah. and it's really strong. I like that a lot. <laughs> We have the new Cavalier this year, and it was released last week that a new Soulfly is done, and it's coming out early next year. And I saw with the new drummer, he said he compared it to a rise, which is big words from fellow Sepultura fans. Do you agree with that statement? Um, yeah, you know, it's, um, it's kind of like the, the way the album was made. It's, it's, it's got a lot of cool parts, and I think uh, he made a remark on how, it, for him, how it reminds me of, yeah. of, of it, which is cool. That's his own opinion. I don't think it is like that. I think it's definitely Soulfly material. and. Um, but it's it's a new soul flight. It's a new sound. You know, we were coming with something new, which is about time uh, to do something different. And uh, I think it's gonna surprise a lot of people. I'm, I'm pretty stoked on the record. Yeah. Well, Joe was the drummer for a long time. Now you have the new drummer. What has he brought to the band? He's more extreme. He used to play in Bark Nagar, uh, which yeah. is a black metal band. So he plays a lot of double bass and at blast beats and. Um, he, he's a killer extreme drummer, so nice. it just made Soulfly more extreme, made it sound heavier, nice. more aggressive, which is always nice. Yeah, definitely. Well, I saw on Des Ferrer's Twitter that he's a guest vocal on one of the songs. Are there any other guests that you can reveal right now? Yeah, we're doing a song with uh, Adam from Oceano. Oh, nice. He's singing one song, too, called World Scum. Um, and that's going to be the last uh, guest on the album. We're going to have him and Des. Uh, that sings on one song called um, uh, I can't remember right now. Uh, <laughs> Redemption. Okay. Yeah. So it's killer, and uh, then we're gonna have Adam on War, uh, Worlds Come, and that should be it. So November we should be mixing the record, and it should be coming out in February. Oh, nice. Very cool. Now another comp or guest thing that you're doing, you have the album coming out with Greg from Dillinger Escape Plan which I'm totally stoked about because I love Dillinger. Talk about, he's one of the craziest front men of all time. How is he in the studio? Well, a lot more calm than yeah. live. You know, <laughs> he yeah, wasn't setting anything on fire. Uh, yeah, he's not breaking anything. And, but he's really enthusiastic, you know, and it was one of the things when he uh, convinced me to do this, it, it's because he loves nail bomb. Yeah, yeah. And he wanted to do like a nail bomb part too. And I was really interested on that too, because I like doing that kind of stuff. And I we really enjoyed my work with Greg on Rise of the Fallen. Yeah, yeah. I think our voices together sounded awesome. great, you know. And do a whole record with that, with me and him singing, it would be, it would be a, you know, a lot of fun. So we're just starting now, you know. It's just um, we wrote like most a lot of a lot of the parts of of the record um, on a, on like a four track, yeah, just basic yeah. stuff. We sing in, in a couple songs. Um, and uh, we're gonna do some more, you know, probably next year. Nice, very cool. Now he talked about how it was the angriest. Him and Des both said that the new material from Soulfly and the Greg compilation was the most angriest and heaviest that they've heard you in a long time. Now, how when you get older, you're supposed to be a lot more calm and everything's supposed to slow down. But you seem to get faster and faster as you get older. How do you explain yeah. that? I don't know. I just build different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I work backwards. You know. I don't know. I like uh, I like the intensity of the music, you know. I like music when it gets exciting and it gets heavy, and um, 
yeah, you know, writing these things with Greg is always, you know, it's exciting when he, when, when I hear him, he's like, oh, man, let's do something that's going to fuck people up. Yeah. It's like, fuck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you know, I get excited, so I end up doing it. Very cool. Well, a lot of the fans, I asked for questions, and one of the main ones was, do you ever see yourself not playing music? Nah. That's nah. a great answer. <laughs> impossible. Yeah. I, lo I like it too much, and I, I just live for it you know my guitar and riffs playing in front of the fans every night and making records is the whole thing i love everything about it you know so much we love all you've done for metal man do you have any last words to the fans out there um no thanks a lot everybody coming to the shows been great and next year so for like 15 years wow. with a new record so you're gonna see everybody on the road again damn right blood force trauma Cavalier Conspiracy, New Soulfly, everything's coming out. This guy never sleeps. What are you talking about? Appreciate it, Max.